All right, kids. Right off the bat, I, I want to list these names off. Uh, film editing, uh, William A. Lyon. Uh, he's credited as William Lyon. Uh, cinematography, Benjamin H. Klein. Uh, absolutely masterful work by those two. Uh, the director is Nick uh, Grindday. Uh, it's G R I N D E. Uh, has that little thing at on top of the E. Uh, also, the writing credit uh, Carl Brown. Uh, this is a man, uh, or this is a movie called "The Man They Could Not Hang," which has Boris Karloff, you know, kicking ass and taking names. His character's name. Uh, Dr. Savar. Uh, apparently, well, he's he's a scientist. Uh, turns into a mad scientist. He, of course, he does something crazy that, you know, uh, ends up, you know, getting the ball rolling on this on this story. Uh, he has a way to re revive uh, uh, patients that have died, and uh, the the main thing uh, that he's aiming for is a uh, way to do surgery without the uh, body body's functioning functions getting in the way. So the idea of having a surgery is you kill the patient first and uh, do, do your surgery, and then you revive them. Uh, of course, nowadays we know how absurd that is, but you know, it's 1939, I believe, yep, 1939, and you know, they, they do, uh, you know, whatever's good for the story. Uh, of course, uh, he describes it as one point, you know, stop and, you know, when you take your car to the mechanic, you don't have the mechanic working on it when it's, you know, running. And, uh, well, but that, that's the, uh, you know, his, uh, his invention, his scientific medical invention. And the absurd, crazy thing that he does is he talks uh, a student and to allowing him to get, you know, you know, Dr. Savar to kill him and then revive him. Uh, I'm sure that breaks a shitload of laws right there, you know. But uh, the student is, uh, uh, is the boyfriend of... Oh, is it Betty? Is that it? I'm not completely sure. Uh, but his assistant is uh, is the girlfriend of the the patient. I'm not completely sure who. Uh, uh, I think it might be Betty. Betty Crawford, which is. And Doran, uh, but uh, she freaks out when the experiment starts and goes to the police. And the police come in after the uh, subject is dead, and they're in the process of reviving him. And uh, they don't allow the doctor to finish the experiment that would revive him. And at this point, we don't know if it even works. But, it, you know, it's that type of movie, so we assume. Uh, so, uh, Savard is taken away, put on trial, uh, for murder, he makes his case. Uh, they go overboard with the death penalty, uh, but they, you know, 
uh, sentence him to hang. Uh, it's a, it's an okay uh, uh, courtroom drama at this point. Uh, The scene uh, in the jury room, which is pretty interesting, they actually write up some interesting characters, different dynamics. It would have been interesting to find out the people who weren't completely 100% gun ho on, you know, hey, he's guilty, death penalty, you know, get him in the hang. Uh, there's ones that have different in brute views. I think they're the minority, but for the most part, uh, it would have been interesting to see how what led to them to go on with the uh, you know the death penalty uh, thing. But anyway, but that scene is really fun to watch. It's really well done. Uh, what ha happens is, yeah, he ends up getting hanged. Uh, he donates his body to science, which was this other assistant of his, a male, uh, he comes, you know, he takes him, he revives him. He repairs the uh, broken neck from the hanging. Uh, what ends up happening, instead of, you know, coming out and saying, hey, see, I was right. I, I'm revived. I could have revived the other guy. Uh, you sentenced me to death wrongly. Here's my lawsuits. Uh, <laughs> uh, instead of doing that, he murders uh, six of the jurors, uh, which is off screen, and uh, I guess the rest went into hiding. So he ends up, all the officials, including this journalist who. Uh, is reporting on it. Uh, the journalist, uh, let's see if we can find his name, uh, Scoop Foley, Robert Wilcox, uh, is actually dating the scientist's daughter, Janet, uh, played by War Warna Gray. Uh, he ends up inviting them all to his house. I don't know why they would even want to go, but uh, they go in to his old house, which he has, you know, booby-trapped, mostly with electricity. Each time, you know, time on the clock, somebody's gonna die, and the first one is the judge. And he uses reverse psychology to lure him to his death, and uh, somehow it works the next time. <laughs> uh, there is a, a death that uh, the second Dr. Fives borrows. Uh, I was wondering if it was going to happen, and then it happened. It's like, oh my God. It's like, you know, this, you know, Dr. Fibes, you know, rises again. I think that, I think the title is, I always forget it. But, uh, yeah, it just, it comes straight from this movie. Uh, but they have to figure out, you know, how to survive this uh, situation. And, uh, well, the, that's all I, you know, that's, that's the setup. The thing is, this, this thing is so well paced. Uh, I checked the time and it was 28 minutes and all, everything that happened before that was so well condensed and well paced that I thought there was more time, you know, like 40 minutes maybe, you know, uh, worth of information and uh, uh, events. It, it just it just shocked me that you know there was that much information uh, conveyed 
within such a short period of time, they were able to do a whole lot with the, the plot and, and such. I could see it being expanded uh, when they get the, you know, everybody to the house that could have been, had, you know, more dynamics going on. Uh, but as it, as it stands, it, this is not just a nice tight, uh, I think it's like an hour and six minutes or something. Uh, really well done. Uh, like I said, the, the direction, uh, the cutting, uh, photography, you know, the camera work uh, is really nice. It's really very dynamic. Uh, there's efficiency along with artistry going on in this movie. Uh, yeah, uh, I highly, highly recommend if you can get this. Of course, uh, I'm sort of st sticking with, with this uh, uh, multi-pack that I bought so I could get the uh, black room and I I'm too lazy to take it out of the blu-ray players this is a DVD uh, you know and it's, I just decided to you know watch another movie and review it <laughs> uh, I like Boris Karloff and I'm really enjoying these uh, this is another Columbia release uh, it's actually an hour and four minutes very tight movie I mean just beautifully done well until next time stay safe and have a good time Bye.